If you are bullish on Solana or hold anything to do with Solana, then you need to check this out. Let's get it. What's going on, people? My name is Aaron and welcome to US Crypto. This is the best place to find some altcoin gems that can get us to go to the moon and back, baby. Obviously, this is going to be a little bit of a different note today because I'm just giving you a warning about Solana, okay? So let's get straight in and not mess around and get to the point. So Solana, if you haven't heard anything about Solana in your life or anything, then it's the fifth biggest cryptocurrency you can see here. Uh, currently got a market cap of 63 billion. Had a lovely little run up as of recent times in price. And yes, it's been doing not too bad, okay? But why am I going to FUD the project, <laughs> all right? Well, it's more about, you know, information that I've had for a while and why I've never really been that bullish on Solana. And here you go, it's just some, right? So I'm showing you FTX. Why am I showing you this, right? It's the story of a scam bankrupt fraud. So one of the biggest scams in crypto of all time. If you haven't heard about this, then I don't know where you've been, right? But how does this link into Solana, okay? So... Who is FTX and who gets paid from FTX bankruptcy? So what actually needs to happen with this whole bankruptcy is FTX need to sell their assets. And in terms of their assets, um, why would that affect Solana? Biggest assets of FTX are what? Solana, okay? They own the most Solana, okay? And that is their biggest holding. And that is why you need to be quite worried about, you know, FTX and linkage of FTX to Solana. I know you probably hear other bullish things where they're like, oh, Solana's done a partnership with Google, Solana's done this, Solana's done that. But you know, what's at its core, right? When it comes to crypto, there's fundamentals, core fundamentals, which can make or break inside of crypto. Even if things pump, for example, we saw this pump. We've seen many of things pump inside of crypto, which are not exactly good projects. We saw BitConnect, pump like crazy and then rob pull everyone. We've seen this a lot of times, okay? It's not, not common in crypto, it does happen. So I'm just giving you warnings. When it comes to all of this, then why should you be worried? Very much links to Alameda Research and FTX still. And this is actually the timeline of when they're gonna be selling all their tokens, okay? So if you have a little look here, we've got linear unlocks from September 2021 to September 2027. You know, this is all gonna be getting sold off. The Lana Foundation, the tokens, Alameda Research and FTX own it. And yes, they're gonna be getting rid of all these tokens as and when we go throughout this market. It all starts from 20, March 2025, May 2025. So my thing is, <laughs> For the bull run, when is it going to be, right? The top's going to be around 2025, I believe, and a lot of people believe that. And if you hold Solana, then these are all going to get sold on you, okay? So it's just something that I think all of you guys should be aware of when it comes to information. Like, don't just follow the hype because everyone think, thinks that Solana's the best tech since sliced bread. I mean, personally, I've got another thing for you to why I don't believe that either, okay? We recently had an up run with Solana. Meme coins were going absolutely crazy. Well, you know, trialed and tested. It's all about trial and testing stuff, right? And breaking 75% of Solana's transactions are failing. So, you know, when it comes down to actually trying to scale and be that blockchain trilemma, for example, if you don't know about the blockchain trilemma, this is it. And we can definitely say right now, Solana does not, it's not be able to scale, is it, right? It's not scaling. And whether it's decentralized, that's another story, right? How are you failing if you're decentralized, right? It should still go through. Transactions should still go through. It shouldn't just fail. And that's my problem with Solana. I think that it's very risky to hold this. And to also, I, I want to say to you face-to-face -face this, right? If you guys have been saying Solana is the best tech and you're a YouTuber, then I think you need to do your research more, okay? Because it isn't the best tech. You can see that. So realistically, man, what are you telling people? Like, you know, I just need to keep it 100 of all you guys, man. Be careful who you're listening to. So more stuff on that, okay? So we're gonna go into the whole centralization side of things now. So this is Solana's NFT. So it's called Compressed NFT, which reduced the cost of minting and managing NFTs by storing the data off chain to minimize storage costs, okay? So what does that mean? It means that it's not even on the blockchain and it's centralized, okay? Not to say that all of it is uh, centralized, but they're, what they're doing there is they are leaving themselves open to vulnerability. And I think for crypto 
And when we say it's all about money, that is absolutely ridiculous. You cannot be doing that, okay? I get you want to do speed and all that, but realistically, we have PayPal for that, all right? We don't need Solana if you're going to be centralized. And why would you care? Okay, so for example, the biggest data breaches in the US uh, update 2024, okay? And who are they? Yahoo, for example, Microsoft, Facebook, for example. We've got big companies, all with leakage, right? So LinkedIn, big data leaking, right? Why would you care about that? This is money. Do you really want to leave it in the hands of things which are centralized? For example, you know, Facebook and all that, they are centralized entities. And, uh, you know, it, even having your data is also very risky too. It can lead you to lose money too. But your actual funds <laughs> are centralized. Get that, man. Like, I'm not about that. And, uh, and yeah, that's just very risky to me. So, you know, if you are bullish on Solana, and obviously I'm just kind of killing this for you, I'm sorry about that, right? But the reality is you need to look at all this stuff when you're putting your money into an investment. This is not financial advice, of course. We're trying to be safe, okay? I didn't get like a rug pulled by FTX. I never got a rug pulled by um, BitConnect, any of these things. And the reason was I was trying to stay safe and that's what I do on my channel and on my Patreon. And uh, and yeah, but obviously how does this now affect the whole ecosystem for Solana? Just gonna give you a couple right now. A lot of different things on Solana, right? So not to say that if you are on one chain and you're only on Solana, I would say be careful, okay? If you've got like, you know, ETH, BNB, Solana, it's not the end of the world because you've got different chains inside of your project. So fair enough, right? But at the moment, are we seeing great utility with Solana? Not really, it's just all meme coins. That's not good utility, right? So, uh, you know, maybe you can make some fun, cool games with that, but that's not great utility in my opinion. So um, yeah, just be careful. But I'm just putting free out for you now. So free would be like decimated. I mean, that's a great, cool game. This looks like a really good game, but the reality is, are you going to be able to keep your coins? For example, if you're getting these problems like this, right? 75% of Solana transactions going down. And then on the heights of the bull market, you make really good returns on decimated. Are you even going to be able to sell it? Okay. And that's where that risk comes in. It's literally on the Solana chain. Lumia crowds, a really cool crypto game again. This is also going to affect this project, right? And this one is interesting, right? So Neon EVM, this is helping the scalability of Ethereum because it's using Solana's tech, right? Neon EVM is Ethereum's virtual machine, right? But it's using Solana's chain, okay? So I was never bullish on this, even though this went up, right? But the reason being is all the information I showed you there. So you are relying on the tech of Solana. Is that tech up to standard? No, it's not, okay? So my thing is, why would I even think from a technology point of view to rely on this? Um, and that's my point, okay? But obviously for a quick little pump, it came out and it's like, all right, great. Um, this could be the great solution for tech, but this is not gonna change the world in my opinion and I'm here for the long term. So, you know, if you wanna do your pump and dumps and you know, all that stuff, then this is a great pick for you. But personally, I'm staying away from anything which could be affected by that right but what do you guys think am i killing your dreams for you i'm sorry if i am i mean look i'm just trying to be truthful out here and show you information to help you on your journey there's a lot of new people in crypto now and i think they need to really know what they're doing rather than just jumping into things for the hype because that's how you lose your ass in crypto but you know if you're trying to find the best projects in crypto i actually have a cheat sheet which have over 200 now on here um, and yeah this is a really good way to find the best projects from a fundamental standpoint top 20 new coins to the cycle i've got top 20 coins overall i've got top 10 in ai gaming real world assets bitcoin scaling nfts metaverse eth killers bitcoin killers music, social media, a whole bunch of narratives, right? And as new narratives come to the space, then you're gonna be ready, right? All these things are ready to potentially pump, right? It just depends on narrative. Also, I've done a buy alert recently, so if you wanna check that out, what I bought, then you can come and over to Patreon and see what I bought, because I do buy and sell alerts. Come and join the business class tier right here. It's still very cheap. You can get access to the Moneyball Cheat Sheet, the buy signals, the sell alerts as well. What a great strategy for sell. Um, you've got VIP Discord as well, which is great community inside of there. And all this information here has actually been on my Discord for a long time that I'm telling you about Solana. Um, you know, I'm just releasing it to the public now, okay? So anyone inside of here has known this stuff and been quite careful with Solana. But yes, come and join. It'll be great to see you inside there, there, all right? So just to tell you, this is the wild, wild west of investing. This isn't for the faint of heart. If you're new to crypto, you just need to be aware of loads of little red flags for in loads of different projects, right? Not to say that they're all gonna do bad. Things pump even if they're scams. We've seen, look, FTX, right? Big Connect, uh, was it OneCoin? Like all these things, they pumped, right? But after, if you held those, 
you will have lost everything. Lots of people lost everything on those, okay? So just be careful out there. And yes, obviously, I want to see you guys at the top. So on that note, though, I will see you at the top. Come and join me, subscribe, all that. But yes, have a good one. Peace. <laughs>